Hi, this is David. In the last video, I showed you how to create a key vault in Azure. And I mentioned that a key vault is a great place for securing, for securely storing information that you don't want people or applications or service to access unless you explicitly give them those permissions to do that. Uh, it's great for certificates, encryption keys, and secrets. And I'm going to cover secrets right now. So. It, I'm gonna, first thing I need to do is to find that key vault. Now, I just created it a few minutes ago, so it's right here, GCAST KV in my recent resources list. But if, if I've created some other things since then, it wouldn't be there. So I can search for it either by name up here, GCAST KV, like this, or if I can't remember the name, I could just go to key vaults and show all my key vaults. And I say, oh, there it is right there, and grab it that way. But in any way, I have to get the key vault up here in the portal. Uh, I'll be on the over overview blade when I start, but I'm working with secrets here. So here's encryption keys, secrets, and certificates. I want secrets right here. And the way that I create a new secret in the portal is by clicking this button right here, generate import. You can see I don't have any right now, even if I refresh, there aren't any. But I want to click on generate import to create a brand new one. Uh, under options, I actually have two options here, but only one of them really counts. This it used to be that you used this blade or this dialogue to import a, uh, a certificate, like an SSL certificate. Now there's actually a separate blade for that. So really you only want manual for this. The certificate option has been deprecated here. And a, a key, a secret is a name value pair. So I'm gonna give it a name. I'll call it secret one. And then I'll give it a value. I'll just call it value one. You'd probably use this for something like a connection string or a password, something that your application wants to use but uh, you don't want it secure. You don't want to check it into source control, and you, this, you don't want to put it in a config file. This is more secure. Just tell the application where the key vault is and what the name of the key vault, and give your application permission to access that key vault. Access that key vault. I've got a few other options here. Content type, you don't have to add this, but if you want to organize it in some way, you can uh, You could do so, tell it what kind of content. Maybe you want to label it as a connection string or a password, or I'll just call it uh, GK. Things like that. It's just free font text. However, you want to organize these things, you're able to do that. So, the similarly, tags. Tags are just metadata you can add to this, and they stay with this. So, at the end of the month, if you want to add some reports, do some reporting on which secrets belong to which users or departments or whatever, you can spec group them up by tags. So, that's useful sometimes. I don't really need it for this demo here. Uh, and finally, you've got a few options here to say when is this key available. When is it, uh, is, is it available right now? And is it available forever or until I delete it? If so, that's what will happen if I just leave it as it is. But I can say, you know what, it's not available right now. It's still in here, but nobody can really uh, access it. No applications or services can access it until I change this from enabled no into enabled yes. Um, so if I do this, then I have to remember to come back in here when it's time for to start using the secret and change it to yes, uh, which might be inconvenient. If I know in advance that what what day and time this should be available, I can just set that act activation date. I can say, you know what, this is going to be used for an application that's going live on September 1. I can do that way. I can just click this thing. I can say on September 1 at 9, let's go with 09, 00, oops, 09, 00, 00 a.m. Central Time. That's that's when it's going to be alive. If you try to access it before that, you won't be able to find it. Um, similarly, if I know when it to stop using it, stop making it available, I can say, you know what, on the September 30th, at 5 o'clock p.m. Then we're done. Don't use it. So I can set the period in which it's available for application services users to access this. Now, I don't really want to do that. For this demo, I'm going to say it's available right away. I've got a secret. It's called secret one. It's a value of value one. I'm just going to go ahead and create that. And here in my list, if I hadn't seen it, I could hit refresh. It'll see it right here. And I can click on this, and I can see here it is right here. Uh, drill down into it. And down here, I can show the secret value. There it is, value one right here. I could change the activation date or the enablement, things like that, onto here if I want to. I'm not going to right now. Uh, 
I'll go back to the secret. I could modify the value by clicking on new version and say, you know what? It's no longer value one. It's now value two. And create that. And now, let me refresh this. For some reason, it's showing up twice there. Refresh that. There's the old version right there that has value one. There's my browser being helpful. Um, and here's the new version. I just changed it. Show that. Now it's been changed to value two. So I have a history of changes that have been made to this in here. So that's something I could do. Another thing I do is I could just delete this. Click on delete and say, yeah, delete it. And that deletes, it actually just kicks off the deletion. It, may, it looks like it happened right away, but it actually just kicked off the deletion process, which might take about 30 seconds. Um, and I mentioned this in the last video. When, by default, when you delete an object in Azure Key Vault, it is not permanently deleted. It is what's called soft deleted. And what that means is that it's still available, and I can still undelete it, or I can still recover it. Uh, if I do so within a certain period of time, if I do so before it's purged, purged means permanently deleted. And by default, after 90 days, 90 days after you soft delete something, it automatically gets purged and permanently deleted. You can no longer recover it. Uh, you can also manually purge it. Now, these things are configurable when you set up the, the key vault, but those are the defaults. So if I go in here and say, under secrets, I say manage deleted secrets. I should be able to see there is the secret that I just now deleted. And if I select it, I've got a couple of options here. I can recover it right now, or I can purge it. I can delete it forever. I'll click on recover here, and that'll kick off the recovery process. Again, it might take about 30 seconds for it to actually recover. If I hit refresh right here, it won't show up. But I'll wait a few seconds, and, and then I'll refresh it. And I should see in here. I sped up time a little bit. It took about 30 seconds, and there it is again. If I open it up, you can see there's the. it's just like it was before. There's the old version and the second version, and they're all on here. And again, I can delete it again because I'm kind of fickle that way and delete it. And just like before, it wasn't permanently deleted. It was soft deleted. So I'll wait about 30 seconds so it shows up when I click on Manage Deleted Secrets. And now here it is. And now this time, I'll select it. Instead of trying to recover it, I will purge it. And it asks me, are you sure? I mean, this is a pretty serious thing. Now it can never be recovered. Now it's gone forever. So I have some options to do with secrets. I can add more secrets if I want, create versions, purge, delete them, and access them. Now, all these things might not be available to you. If you find that you don't have some of these buttons enabled or you get an error, you can always go into Access Policies. By default, your name should be here. Whoever created this account should be here. And you have options under secrets. You see that there are eight selected. So if you find you cannot purge it, it may be because this checkbox is cleared. If you cannot uh, delete it or you don't see it, it may be because things like that. So you may want to check these things right here under your name. And you can always add another access policy here. I'll go into more detail on this blade in a future video. But in the meantime, I've shown you how to create secrets, update secrets, uh, purge secrets, recover them, uh, essentially manage any secrets that you have inside of Azure Key Vault. This is David. Thank you for watching.